Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create a bootstrap landing page for your blogger website. So we're going to be using this website called Start Bootstrap. So here you can see it has bootstrap themes, templates and UI tools. And if you scroll down, we can see that we have a lot of templates that we can use and uh, they are built on bootstrap. So we can use these to speed up the process of web designing. And there are free as well as pro templates over here. So you can go ahead and check them out. So we'll be using this service and we will edit the template and we'll create a landing page design and then we will add it to our blogger website. So in the previous video, I showed you how to change the dynamic homepage of your blogger website to a static page. So this is the static homepage that we created in the previous video. So we have replaced the dynamic homepage, which comes by default in the blogger theme to this static homepage. And we can click on this all blog posts link. And you'll be taken to the list of blog posts over here. And if you go back to the home page, we'll be redirected to the static home page. Now, once we create our landing page using one of these templates from Bootstrap, we will replace the static home page with the landing page that we design. So I'll be dividing this video into two parts. In the first part, we will just download the template and make some changes. I'll show you how to download and make changes to the template. And in the next video, I'll show you how to convert this home page to the design that we create. So let's get started. Alright, so let's click on this button called browse template and themes. And uh, here we can see a lot of themes are available over here. Let's just filter the free themes. So I'll just remove pro from here. And we can see all of these are free templates. So we can use any of these for our website. So there are a lot of awesome templates over here. We'll just select this one right here called agency. So this is the page of the agency template. Now, if you want to see how it looks on a real web page, you can click on this uh, button called launch live preview. So this is how the template looks. There are some navigation elements over here. We can go ahead and change them. And whenever we click on any of these, we get taken to that section. So first we have the services section. We can go ahead and make changes and uh, add our own text over here. And then we have the portfolio and we can click on any of these projects. And uh, it will give us uh, a description of the project. And then we can close this project over here. And uh, then we have the about section where uh, we have a timeline. So you can go ahead and make changes to all of these and add your own information over here. And then we have our team section. So you can go ahead and add the images of your team members over here and add their names and their social media icons over here. And uh, then we have some logos of some companies over here. And then we have the contact section. And then lastly, we have the footer. And we also have these social media icons over here. And this template is also responsive. So let's go ahead and take a look at the tablet version. So this is how it will look on a tablet. So there are some changes in the layout and uh, the navigation menu has uh, moved to this mobile version and we can click on this button called menu and you'll get these uh, nav elements over here. You can click on any of these and you will be taken to that section. And then we have the mobile version and uh, we have a completely different layout for the mobile version. So this template looks awesome. So we can go ahead and download it. You can click on this button called free download or you can even go over here to this uh, button called free download. Now, if you want to take a look at the code, you can go ahead and click on this button called view source code. So here's the source code. You can go ahead and check the dist folder. And in that you have the HTML. So this is the HTML for the template. And in the same way, you have the CSS inside this and you have the JavaScript over here and all the images and logos are over here. So let's go back to the main page and there's some information about the template over here as well. So there is some guide to how to download and install this template. All right. So let's go ahead and download this template. So you can just go ahead and click on code and click on download zip or you can just click on this free download button over here. So I'll just click over here and we can see that the template has been downloaded. Alright, so this is our downloaded file. We have this zip file which contains all the files and the folders. And I have created this folder called Bootstrap Homepage. And uh, 
let's go ahead and extract this so I'll just right click over here and click on extract to this folder right so the extraction has been completed let's go ahead and uh, open the folder and let me just cut all of this and uh, I'll just bring it to the main folder over here and I'll just uh, delete this folder and the zip file right so now let's open this in our code editor you can open this in any code editor you want I'll just open it with VS code so I have VS code installed so I have this option over here called open with code right so the project has been opened let me just open this in our browser so I have this extension called live server so I can just right click over here and click on open with live server and we can see our template is being displayed over here just as we wanted and uh, if we scroll down we can see all the sections are displayed correctly let me just open one of these and there are no problems alright so now you can go ahead and make changes to all of these elements now I'm not gonna make a lot of changes over here because uh, you can make changes based on your needs right now I'm just gonna show you how to add this to your blogger website so I'm not gonna make a lot of changes we'll just change this logo now I have created a logo and I just copied it I'll just paste it over here let me just remove the previous logo from here so I'll just delete it it is called the navbar logo and it is inside assets and images so let's go back to our VS code and uh, let's replace uh, the current logo with our new logo let's find where the logo is so here we can see in anchor tag we have source attribute and in that we have assets img and navbar logo.svg now our new file is png so I'll just type png over here let's save it and see how it looks so here we can see the live blogger logo is being displayed over here now in the menu items we will add one more menu item called blog and uh, it will take the visitor to the list of all the blog posts so here we can see we have this division and in that we have these uh, list items and these are all the menu items let's add a new menu item so I'll just copy one of these list items from here and uh, I'll just paste it down here and we'll just rename this to blog and I'll just remove this uh, href from here and uh, we will change the href inside our blogger template but right now let's keep it as hash now we can see we have a new menu item called blog and it will take the visitor to the list of all the blogs now all the elements in this template can be edited so you can replace uh, this background image with your own background image and you can go ahead and change the text of these headings and uh, buttons and all of these things over here so you have to just go to this uh, HTML and find the code for that so here we can see we have this uh, division and it has welcome to our studio and it is being displayed over here you can go ahead and change the text to whatever you want so here I'll just type welcome to live blogger and here we can see it says welcome to live blogger and uh, let's scroll down and uh, here we have the services so I'll just leave all of these as it is you can go ahead and change them according to your needs and then we have the portfolio you can add your own images over here so what you have to do is uh, you have to replace all these uh, images inside assets img and then go to portfolio and these are all the images so this is the image for the thumbnail and this is the full image so you can create a tiny version and a full size version of the image and uh, just rename the image to these exact names and then just delete all these images from here and add your own images and then they will be added over here instead of these images as the portfolio images so in this way you can go ahead and change the images and the details and then we have the about section so I'm gonna leave all of these as it is you can go ahead and change these details and uh, then we have our amazing team so I'll just leave all of these as it is and uh, then we have the contact us section I will leave it as it is as well and then we have the footer and here for the footer I'll just replace your website with the live blogger so let's go back to the HTML and let's scroll down to the footer so the footer is not at uh, the bottom of the HTML so we can see at the bottom we have all the pop-ups so if you scroll up a little bit you can find the footer over here it has this tag called footer and in that we have this copyright at your website so I'll just rename this to live blogger 2021 and you can go ahead and add the link of your privacy policy and terms of use over here right so 
here we have our updated footer now I think for this contact form they have used PHP code so PHP doesn't work in blogger so you have to use the contact form that is there by default by blogger and you have to change the design to this design right here I have a couple of videos on creating a contact form for your blogger website you can check them out so I think that's basically it for our landing page in the next video I'll show you how to add this design to the home page of our blogger website so we'll replace all of this with this design right here so it will look exactly like this so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day